One of the men who robbed him came to my cabin and confided to me that he thought there was something aboard the ship. The devil, my friend. He is the devil. The man who is steering us to the shore is steering us to hell. The great thing for me was that although we know the Nosferatu stories about this last hour and they're coming back to Whitby and there's death, and the great thing was that Jamie kept ringing up and saying, look, don't worry about the plot, just give me more poetry. More, and he'd ring up and say, a few more lines of poetry here, please. And that's so great. It's really lovely to work with poetic dialogue that then can so easily transition into song and it not feel as if it's a, um, like, this is a number now, we're going to now sing you a song. And, and our sort of the concept of how we want to develop the theatre is this, this, this um, sort of process where the singing and the poetry come together and that's why it's been great to work with Ian on this. The captain is found lashed to the wheel with a crucifix in his hand sailing into Whitby and all the other sailors have disappeared. When Leishman and the captain and Peter appear and disappear, that will actually be happening on stage, won't it? Absolutely, the yeah. I mean, when we heard it now, it was quite a lot like a radio play. Mm. But when it's actually done, it'll be very physical. The whole experience of the actual piece will be very, um, I hope, very visceral, from actually with, with the actual set and the visual aspect, with all of that nice language. It'll come across more with the visuals that actually time's been totally fractured. So, like we said, they've been dead a long time, they're going through this, the idea that, you know, a bit like waiting for Godot, that it's going to just keep happening again and again, and that after this sunrise, there he is again tomorrow. It's going to keep happening. So I think all the characters are very ambiguous, and they're alive, they're dead, they're doing it again tomorrow. Well, the set design is sort of inspired a little bit by the, by the film Nosferatu, which was um, made in a period of time... Um, which is known as sort of expressionistic sort of uh, work. So 1920s expressionistic work. So the ship will not be a... It will definitely look like a ship. You could be able to see that it's a ship, but it will be a ship that is sort of angled strangely. A ship that has a steering wheel that is also a clock. A ship that you can descend into and the hole is very pre 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 uh, prominent. And so there's lots of... Real elements about the set design that's, that's great actually, it's, it will look great. My shield.